Welcome everyone, it's Coffee House Madness time. Let's get energized. What's, What's going, going on, on everybody? <laughs> that was, that awesome. was awesome. All right. Here so we today are. We're going to be talking about toys. What's the topic? Toys, toys, toys. 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 And we have our Batman, Giant, Giant Funko. 18 inch Funko Pop Madness over here. Batman. Yep. Just picked them up. We said, you know what? Let's do a whole segment about oh, toys. toys. Where do they come from? But Get but, some ideas. But before we get into oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before we get. We want to say hi to a lot of different people. Uh, is... Karen Wesley, Funko Pop Productions. Thank you so much. Uh, Funko Pop Karen... Productions. Before, Think... hang on one but... second. Funko Pop Productions is one of my favorite channels. I really, really enjoy watching this guy. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, give him Please a look. Do. Give him a look. And you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. He's, 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 he's a real cool dude. Uh, Karen, yeah. Karen, like yeah. Oh, sweetheart, you're so awesome. Constantly giving treats because of your comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. She's loving it. She's <laughs> digging it. I'm telling you. Uh, another one is Carrot Gold Toys. Carrot Gold Toys. Carrot Gold Toys. Another favorite of our fans. Every time, every time we see your avatar, I'm like, woo! This Yay. guy is awesome. All right. The okay. family behind this channel is great. Thank you so much. So All right. now we're going to talk about toys. This so one. toys goes, goes for, for, you know, as far as you can remember, right? But this segment's going to talk about certain toys, and we're going to play brought out the old school game Connect 4. Yeah. So and just because. What, just because. And the first thing we got online is... Is Wiffle Ball. Wiffle Ball. Let's talk about this it. This Wiffle Ball was created by David Halloway, and he was just the father of two children, a daughter and a son. And and one day he uh, uh, he he saw his two children playing with with a golf ball, not a wiffle ball, a golf ball. Look at that with stick ball. So they were hitting it back and forth. And he was like, okay, so this ball actually goes farther than than a regular rubber ball. So he was like, okay, maybe I can um, increase on this idea. So what he did was he actually drilled several holes into the ball to make it to make it do curves. Look at that. And and, and he actually sold these. These, these little wiffle balls to a lot of different people <gasps> and it eventually became a very very popular brand that's exciting yeah. see that guys any idea that you guys got you know what try it you never yeah, know and and actually the, the wiffle uh comes from a baseball term to whiff <gasps> look at that so when you i think that's from the sound that it makes too yes. right Okay. Yep. And the next one is the Super Ball. The Super Ball is was created actually by a scientist who worked for a toy company called Big O Matic. And Big O Matic was at the time a very amateur company, so they weren't really didn't have anything. And he he created a kind of rubbery substance called Zectron. Zectron. Yes. So, something that he named himself, but but it was that it was ten times stronger and more rubbery and bouncy than rubber itself really so what happened was he did give this uh, he wanted to, to give this idea to his employers but they're like no this is a stupid idea so he went to a wait different did he have an idea of what that stuff was going to be um, used for not, and he's just like look this this is very really. bouncy yeah not really he, he had an idea what he wanted to use it for he just wanted to use it for something <gasps> so like i said they did they did not use request to make it but they but he went to a different place called whammo and whammo was actually the original uh people who created the hula hoop right because they were a toy company yes, right another toy look company. at that Another toy company, and they accepted it immediately. Wow! They looked at it. They said, "Yeah, this is this, this is, is good golden. Stuff. This is perfect." Yeah. And guess what? It was. It, it sold seven million units in one year. Wow! Look at that. Seven million balls. Fascinating. And and at the time, that was extremely extremely large. Fascinating. Yep. And you and go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, no, go ahead, no, go ahead. please. You know, I was gonna say. So there's a. There's a story about um, a guy who bought, bought, purchased a gold mine, okay, and he dug down deep and he found these nuggets, really? right? Okay. And they looked like coal. Problem was he didn't know what to do with it. Underneath the coal were diamonds. There was a literal gold mine of this Diamond. coal type of substance inside the ground. He kept digging, pulling out these black substances. He's just like, I don't know what to do with this, you know? Someone else is like, yeah, I'll buy it from you. He's like, okay, crack them open. Let's see what we got. <laughs> and guess what? Diamonds, Diamonds, baby, look at that. Same thing with this guy. Smiley face. Yes, yeah, smiley face. Same thing, with, you know, same thing with this guy where he's like, hey, I got this substance. What do you guys want to do with it? And he's like, nothing, nothing, nothing. Takes it to a toy company. 
We'll take it. We'll sign you up. We'll make yep. some money together. All right. That's a great story. Yep. And uh, there was actually a group of scientists who actually did a larger version of the Super Bowl, which is classified as the world's largest Super Bowl ever. It was, I really? Think, I think it was like the size of a truck. Did, where... they, did they try to bounce it? Actually, yes, they did. Ah, I knew it. Yes. I knew it. They bounced it off of a five-story high building, and it, as soon as, as it hit the floor, it split into two. Oh, it cracked. Yep. Oh, it cracked. <laughs> And and I believe one of the halves actually kept bouncing through uh, uh through the streets. And oh, cars. it's like the movie Flubber. Yep. Wow, I'm sure it was breaking stuff. Oh and... yeah, it, I actually think it broke a glass door, a glass door. So it went through a store. Yep. Front. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. That's awesome. What else we got? That's uh, great. And you probably all of you know this. It's called the piggy bank. Oh, you know it, but you got it right here. Here we go. B, but you probably don't know where it comes from. So the piggy bank comes from uh, a from the 19th century, where at the time uh, mine minerals were very very hard to find. They were all, all hard to come by. So what happened was they needed to find something that was more durable, for like uh, utensils and jars and stuff like that. So they came across. So they ran into a substance. Is that what? Yes, a, a substance. Oh. It was called pig. Pig, but not, but not like P I G. It's called P Y G G. Wow! And, and so it's like terracotta. It's like, uh, yes, like a kind of a clay kind of thing where, Look where at that. you can mold into anything. And they are widely used. You believe it, Roxy? Yeah, oh, Roxy. So what ahead. happened was uh, they started using this for a lot of different things, and one of them was banks. And later on, after after it started becoming more popular and let uh, and more widespread, um, they. They uh, they started using the word pig like the actual pig word p i g in, instead of pig. Wow! Look at ingenuity, baby. I'm yep, telling because you. Because it because it kind of was similar to pig, the actual animal. See, this is not terracotta. This no, that's this like is a, not that's like pig. a ceramic. That's, that, that's a ceramic material. So these are these are kind of hard to find now. But yeah. uh, you can find them at uh, different swap meets and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. So it's not actual the pig of the form. No. It's the pig of the material. Yep. And they just decided to change them over to little piggies. Look at that. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? We have uh, hey. another one is troll dolls. You... Troll dolls. Yep, all right. You all know them. The troll dolls. A lot of girls love them. And they are. This one is our little troll. We didn't. We didn't have a troll doll. I know we have them here somewhere. Yeah. But no. I but find but uh, there was this guy. His name was Norman. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It was Thomas Dam. Thomas Dam. Thomas Dam. And he. Dam. And he was actually a wood maker who uh, one day he was like, okay, I want to I want to give something to my daughter okay. for her birthday. So what happened was he he uh, he crafted a kind of elf looking thing <gasps> of, of his interpretation of an elf. And these elves can only be seen by children or childlike adults. Oh! So what happened was he was was he carved and he molded it and he gave it to his daughter, and she actually showed it to all of her friends, and they became a very popular thing Look in, in that little that. area. So what happened was uh, was a, a a little toy store contacted him, and he said, "Hey, uh, we want to get some more of your little uh, dolls, your little wooden dolls." He said, "Okay." So he so he sent them in to the toy store, and it became such a popular thing that he needed to use some. A different material because he couldn't keep up. He couldn't keep up with the demand. So yep. plastic wasn't a thing that they can use back then. It yes. took longer to make plastic than it did wood, wood. right? Yep. Look at that. All right. And, it'd be, and, and now... Uh, what the, was the name of that doll? Damn it doll. It's called the Damn it doll. BB, Look at that. Because his last name was Damn. If you can find one of those vintage Oh, yeah. Those, damage, are, very, those are actually collectible yeah, items. The, those are very but, but hard to find. the biggest part is that since since he was in an area where he, where he didn't have any legal protection... <gasps> no. That, what happened? That idea was stolen immediately. That's Is that what we get? Yep. Our trolls? Actually, yes. Wow. Look at that. So a lot... Uh, like 12... Like a... Uh, uh, a lot of different companies actually took this idea of the troll of the damn it dolls and they made them their own. And so, made them their own. So they made them their like knockoffs. So, so they made like damn dolls, uh, Norfin dolls. Yes. Stuff I, like that. You know what? You're right. There's another company right now they are selling called damn it dolls. And those are not, but again, there's just their variation of it. Yeah. Yep. Their form. All right. Okay. Fantastic. So, Yay. Okay. So I have a joke for you. Let's go. What do you get when you give a lamb a machine gun? A lamb and a machine gun. You don't give them lambs and machine guns. But what do you get? All right. Let's say that they do. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I you really know? don't know. Lambo. Lambo. <laughs> Lambo. 
y'all. Thank you very much. Again, every comment you guys leave behind is a treat for the Roxy. We ran out today, right? We got to get some more. Appreciate everything you guys do for us. Again, just smile. Have a good day. And uh, we're going to see you guys in the next flip. And again, boom. Appreciate